Have you noticed Unity or Mono develop acting strangely after updating the High Sierra? Well, you aren't alone. It seems that the new APFS file system Apple has put in place recently has been affecting many applications. Many apps will continue to be negatively impacted by Apple's new file system until they are updated. For some reason, the regular version of Unity that you can download right now doesn't support High Sierra too well, but this version that I am going to be showing you works wonders. So first, you are going to want to click on the link that I have in the description below. Once you pull up the link, you will come to this page. You're going to want to click this little field right here and select 2017.2. Once the page has finished loading, you are going to want to click the latest patch. In this case, it is patch 4, indicated by this P4 right here. You are then going to want to click on the patch tab and then click download Mac. Once you click this download link, open the downloaded DMG and open the Unity Download Assistant. And just click open if you get this. So you're going to want to click continue, continue, agree. Now you're going to want to select the packages you want installed. I recommend installing Unity 2017.2 as this is the patch, mono develop, and Windows build support. Once you click continue, you are going to want to put in an administrator username and password. Now you can click the disk where you want Unity installed. I want it installed on my Macintosh HD drive. Then click continue and it will download everything. I'm just downloading WebGL because I don't have that. I do have Unity installed already so I don't want to reinstall that. So once it's done, you're going to get this little pop-up showing you that Unity is installed correctly and the installation was successful. You can choose if you want to launch Unity or not. So you can just close this window. In my testing of this version, I have found that everything works, although there are some lighting glitches when switching scenes while testing. Also, anti-aliasing is disabled for some reason, but this is only within the editor. That's all for today. Hope this helped.